Put this thing on. Well, hello there. I'm Wendy Valencia, and on this channel, we talk about getting out of debt and staying out of debt. So if that is something that interests you, please go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. Today, I wanted to talk to you about being a Dave Ramsey purist. Wendy, I've never heard that term before. What is a Dave Ramsey purist? I am so glad you asked because it is a term that I made up all myself. And it is a term that I use to describe someone who is so strict with the rules of Dave Ramsey's plan that they can't possibly envision any other way than exactly as it's laid out in the book. Here in the Valencia household, we are not Dave Ramsey purists, but we 100% believe everything that Dave says. It's just that we also believe that every individual has to know themselves and can adapt the situation slightly to meet their goals. So you wanna find out if you are a Dave Ramsey purist? I made up this quiz just for fun. Let's get started. Question number one. You are on baby step two, but you need a new sweater. You go to the store to purchase it. The sweater is in your budget and you have enough cash in your cash envelope and you knew exactly how much the item would cost with tax before you walked into the store. When it is your turn and you walk up to the cash register, lay down your item, the woman behind the counter offers you a credit card and tells you that you can get a 20% discount on the items you purchase today. Do you? A, politely decline the credit card, pay for your item with cash and leave. B, scream Sheena! cheetah. Run! Leave your item on the counter and run out of the store. C, lecture the clerk about the dangers of credit card debt. And D, say, I would never be in a store in baby step two. So this is a tough one. If you pick B, C, or D, you actually are leaning towards Dave Ramsey purist. Number two, this one should be easy. You have organized your debt snowball and you are gonna pay off all your debts. What order do you put them in? A, Smallest to largest, because that is the way that it should be without fail, unless you owe the IRS, because Dave always says to pay them first. B, smallest to largest, except for this one debt, which you're gonna pay off first, because fill in your own blank. C, highest interest to lowest interest. If you answered A, put one point to your Dave Ramsey purist score. Number three, you're at a party and someone begins talking about the stock market. You respond to them by saying, A, Dave says to invest in mutual funds and not single stocks. B, politely contribute to the conversation all while thinking, I'm in baby step two, I'm not even thinking about investing yet. Or C, change the subject. If you answer this question or any question for that matter with the response, well, Dave Ramsey says, then you get a point for being a purist. Number four, you believe the starter emergency fund should be A, $1,000 without question, B, adapted to your income level, but never more than $5,000. C, there are some rare instances when your starter emergency fund should be $500, but most of the time it's a thousand. So you would think that if you answered A, you would be a Dave Ramsey purist, but you would be wrong. The Dave Ramsey purist is actually C because it's a little known fact that Dave says if you earn less than $20,000 a year, your starter emergency fund should be $500. So if you answered C, give yourself a point. Number five, what did you have for dinner last night? A, ramen noodles because it's cheap. B, chicken. C, beans and rice. D, it was movie night, so we had delivery pizza, but we used a coupon. So if you answered C, you're obviously a purist, unless you're Colombian. But if you answered A, ramen noodles because it's cheap, or answered anything because it's cheap, then you get one point for being a purist too. Number six, you're on baby step three at a restaurant. 
it was planned and it was in the budget. You finished a nice meal choosing the least expensive item on the menu. Your bill arrives, you hand the waiter a 20 and, and he says, I'm sorry, we don't take cash. You, A, tell the waiter you would like to speak with the owner and then proceed to yell at the owner for 10 minutes. B, pull out your debit card and begrudgingly pay the bill. C, stare at the waiter and say, we have a problem then because I only have cash, so I can't pay. Or D, why would I be in a restaurant on baby step three? I'm gazelle intense. I'm going to baby step seven. So this is actually a true story that happened to me. And I actually filmed a whole video about it. Like immediately, like when I got in my car, I was so mad. So if you're interested in seeing that video, I will link it up here in the eye in the sky. But I will tell you, I am not a Dave Ramsey purist. I handed over my debit card because I had to. The answer is D. Dave Ramsey says that you can't lighten up on your gazelle intensity until you're in baby steps four, five, and six. Number seven, you need milk. It's three days until the end of the month and there is no more cash in the grocery envelope. Do you A, buy the milk with your debit card. You gotta have milk. You'll figure it out later. B, borrow from another cash envelope and go buy milk. C, wait until next month starts and you have refilled your cash envelopes. Or D, raid the couch in search of change. So while D would certainly qualify as a Dave Ramsey purist, the real answer is C, no money, no milk. Number eight, you finish reconciling your budget and discover you have $7.32 left in your bank account. You A, freak out and spend the next three hours trying to figure out where the mistake was. B, get excited because now you have a new snowflake to put towards your snowball. Or C, I wouldn't have noticed. I don't reconcile. So this one is a tough one because gazelle intense people would put any extra amount of money to debt. The thing is, if you're doing the Dave Ramsey plan as a Dave Ramsey purist, you operate on a zero based budget. So the answer is actually A, you freak out and try and figure out where the mistake is because you know that number should be zero, not $7.32. Number nine, finish this phrase. Don't buy things you can't afford with money you don't have. A, because it's stupid. B, because Dave Ramsey says not to. C, to impress people you don't like. Or D, it's what grandma believed. If you know the phrase is don't buy things you can't afford with money you don't have to impress people you don't like, then you could be a Dave Ramsey purist. Number 10, you got so enthusiastic about cutting up your credit cards that you, A, accidentally cut up your debit card and your insurance card, B, made art with your cut up credit cards, C, decided to make your cut up cards into jewelry. Okay, so this one, if you did any of those or anything with the credit cards, you are definitely a Dave Ramsey purist but only if you cut them up before starting the program, not when it was over. And then there is super secret question number 11. Have you ever left a message on a Dave Ramsey YouTubers page telling them that what they are doing is wrong? If you answered yes to that one, then you get 10 points to be a Dave Ramsey purist. So how many points did you get? If you got 10 points, then you, are a Dave Ramsey purist. And I'm not saying that's bad. I actually love you purists. You keep me in line. I got three. While I am gazelle intense in my own way, I'm not a Dave Ramsey purist. Remember, you can be gazelle intense without being a Dave Ramsey purist because you know that life is gonna happen while you're going down this path and you're gonna be prepared for it. If you are new to my channel, make sure you click on my big laughing face to subscribe and I will put up two videos so you can keep on watching. This video is my latest one and this one is one YouTube picked out just for you. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya.